Can science enlighten us? Causation in the Age of Scientific Revolution and the Enlightenment. AP European History, Topic 4.7. All right, kids, let's break this down like a dance interlude. First up, Scientific Revolution. Europe learned how to read and do math and science. Think of it like a massive brain upgrade for Europe. Before this, people believed whatever old Greek dudes like Aristotle said like Earth is the center of the universe. Then boom, along came smarty pants like Galileo and Newton saying, hold up, let's actually check that. They started using observation and experimentation. It's like they finally decided to look out the window and see if what they believed was true. And guess what? The universe was more like a cosmic dance party, not a static painting. Now enter the enlightenment. This was like the scientific revolution's cooler, older sibling. It wasn't just about stars and physics. It was about using your brain to question everything. Politics, society, even your daily bread. Thinkers like Voltaire and Rousseau were like, why are we listening to kings and priests without question? Let's use reason. This was big, like really big. It was like telling everyone, hey, you've got a brain, use it. Suddenly everyone's questioning the status quo. Why is the king in charge? Why are we following old traditions? The enlightenment was the ultimate rebellion but with brains instead of swords. And how did these ideas spread? Through the 17th and 18th century version of Twitter and TikTok, print media and public venues, books, pamphlets, coffee houses, salons, these were the hotspots of enlightenment gossip. But let's not forget, this era had its drama. Not everyone was on board. The church was like the grumpy grandpa saying, back in my day, we didn't question God or the king. And kings weren't thrilled about this either. After all, who likes being told they're not the smartest in the room? Then we had guys throwing shade at traditional economics. Goodbye mercantilism, hoarding gold like a dragon. Hello capitalism, let's make some deals. Religion got a reality check too. People started favoring natural religion, like believing in a higher power without the church's frills. It was the spiritual equivalent of going minimalist, but they called it going deist. And everyday life, it was changing faster than the fashion trends. Population changes, new diseases, and the commercial revolution. A fancy term for global trade going bonkers were reshaping how people lived, worked, and partied. So there you have it. The scientific revolution and enlightenment were like Europe's teenage rebellion phase, but with more philosophy and less acne. They shook the world, changed the game, and made history one heck of a wild ride. Comment below if you can think of names for Europe's rebel teens. Like the video and subscribe to the channel for more.